Coming out in 2008, Left 4 Dead was a revolutionary title which essentially created the co-op zombie shooter genre. Coming out a year later, the sequel iterated on the initial concept, retaining immensely satisfying gameplay and adding new enthralling characters, weapons, and game types. While those games are still a blast to play, it has been 10 years since their release, and with Valve's difficulty counting to 3, it didn't look like we were getting Left 4 Dead 3 anytime soon. But all hope is not lost, because we have Back 4 Blood, a new game by Total Rock Studios, the same guys that did Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, so you know we're going to get a game that's true to the original and gives us those gameplay mechanics which we have grown to love. We're here in the safe room and Bot Holly's freaking out a little bit, but we're going to check out the vendor. We've got the AK-47 cards, so we're pretty much good as far as primary weapons go. I'm going to grab some pill- Oh, pills! <laughs> Let's grab some pills here! And uh, Molotov, and I am already broke, so I guess we are just going with iron sights. That's okay, I'm a big fan, so let's go ahead out of this safe room. And see the world of Back for Blood. I was kind of expecting a bunch of zombies there, but... Okay, let's go meet our first zombie friend. ADS is extraordinarily unsettling in a game that I'm expecting to be Left 4 Dead. It's an interesting experience, because it very much feels like not Left 4 Dead. <laughs> Even though I know it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna play with my- Wow! That was a lot of destruction. Watch out, buddy. I'm coming through. Wow! I'm gonna have to figure out a lot of things, like where my flashlight is. Oh, look! Oh, yes! An F1A! <laughs> Absolutely! Let's do it! Got a nice little red dot up on there. Oh, I'm excited. So let's see, can we open... Oh, okay. I guess we don't open doors so much as we just hack them down. <laughs> but at least that taught me how to use my punch ability. Alright, locked doors can alarm the horde. I'm... Oh, special zombie! What's... Oh, two of them! They exploded. I'm guessing they're boomers. And uh, reload on this guy is very slow, as well as the cyclic crate. Let's see if we've taken care of all of them. No, nope, we've got a tall boy. I see their weak points. That's kind of nice. If he would present that to me, that would be even nicer. <laughs> but they haven't done anything especially dangerous. Although I'm now sort of wondering if this was the correct weapon to be gaining in uh, this close quarters situation. Zombies are pretty slow, and not very smart. That's something that I wasn't expecting, because the, the Left 4 Dead zombies are actually rather quick. These guys just sort of lumber around like you would expect zombies to. Oh, we've got a crawler! I think that's their name. Where'd he go? Where did he go? I don't like not knowing where they are! That's not- see, the worst part of a spider is not finding it. The worst part of a spider is losing track of it. <laughs> Oh no! What happened? What happened there? I think we had a little bit of a mix-up with that ladder, figuring out who was going up or down it. <laughs> That's okay, we're back up. But, uh, health isn't really where I wanted it to be. Oh my god! I don't understand what's happening right now. I am stuck. So... I guess they're just gonna let me go down. Uh, ugh, not the greatest development. Looks like Bot Holly is stuck over. Oh no! <laughs> Get this guy out of here. <laughs> okay, so things are looking quite grim. I think my team is coming over here though, so that's definitely nice. Oh god! Oh, here they come. Okay, did not really plan for that. Um, I'm lacking any sort of med kit. I'm guessing. Part of the reason for that could have been my inability to simply recognize that I needed to buy one from the shop. So I'm gonna try and get through here with at least some health. Oh, look at that. You can punch with both arms. Cool. Yeah, this was not the gun to pick up. <laughs> I should have stuck with that AK. Sorry, buddy. I'm working on it. Come on. Trusty Glock! Oh, they're on both sides. This is rough. <laughs> but I think I'm alive. That's definitely true. Tallboy's gone. Somebody did something about that. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Okay, so that I believe is an ogre. He is coming at us. Found some copper. I don't know where. Maybe after killing that guy, but uh, try and get away from this dude. I know that we have to go through this tunnel. Try and, uh, avoid everything here. Oh god! Oh no! Wow, that was rough! He got me immediately! 
Oh, hey Holly, <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Shotgun. Let's do it. That's definitely close range. I am loving this shotgun. This thing feels well. Okay, well, oh no, I'm sorry, teammate. I put that one right into your back. <laughs> okay, we need to check our fire a little bit better. Something is not right here, says somebody, and I think it's because of that ogre. Oh, it almost got me again with that thing. Okay, how do we manage this? Now, I'm not entirely sure what we need to be doing here. That ogre is blocking the path, and he has an immense amount of health that I haven't really managed to put a dent in. And without any sort- oh, okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> now, with a limited amount of stamina, the running away tactic seems to be a bit like- Well, actually, I was gonna say it's not as effective as I was hoping, but we have made it through, so that was pretty solid. Oh god, I see the safe room's 24 meters away. And yet, feels farther than that, considering the amount of enemies that we've got to work with here. Well, again, I seem to have the wrong gun, considering we're outside and everything is, you know, medium range. But, uh, I'll try and make the best of it and see if I can just keep an eye out for my teammates. These guys are really slow. They're not as scary as a result. So, like, the animals that are faster, the creatures that are faster, tend to be creepier. Oh god, no! Oh no, I guess they don't have to be fast if they can sneak up on you like that. Oh, look at that! Make it! Oh my god! Oh, Uzi! Okay, we're gonna try this now. Hey, Molotov, where'd you get that? Nice. Oh, I am loving this Uzi, but it burns through ammunition like crazy. I think time to go back to the AK. Okay, med kit. Wow, that thing's huge. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's probably not intentional, but I enjoyed watching that happen. Oh, no, teammate went down. Maybe, uh, I was low, so probably med kit was the right move. Secure your mask before securing others, right? Ooh. Boom. All right, so we are on the move. I'm kind of surprised I didn't take any fall damage there, but I'm uh, okay with that. There was something shiny over there. I'm going to ignore it because uh, because of the music and the sound effects, things seem pretty hectic. I'm going to try and stick with my two human teammates, Bot Holly. I'm sorry, but <laughs> we're leaving you. Okay, so we're on the ferry. I hear a car. And it looks like the couple Humvees, so I'm guessing the military is coming. Well, in Left 4 Dead, the military, I think, was trying to kill us some of the time, thinking that we were infected. Here, I'm hoping that they're going to help us. Actually, yeah, they want us to go over there. Okay, so let's team up. <laughs> oh, God. Bruiser. I'm trying to help my teammate over here. Can you chill out for a second, please? All right, I'm not entirely sure what to do about Bot Holly over here. She's dropped the explosives, and she's down. I guess I'm gonna pick her up, and she has the explosives. I don't know. Oh, you've got a job to do, and I'm gonna help you do it. So, as part of my cards, my bash ability is now a knife, and that counts as a melee weapon. And then I also have the ability of gaining a little bit of health every time I kill somebody with a melee ability. So, I don't know if I'm doing enough damage to keep myself alive here with just the health regen, but it's a cool set of mechanics. And here they come. I think I'm going down too. Okay, both of us are down. <laughs> Alright, things are a little bit dicey, but they kind of have been this entire time. Bought down, and I don't... Oh god, I'm the only one alive. Alright, so... <laughs> this isn't looking great. I uh, don't know what I have to survive this. Except for some bullets. Oh no, he's gonna hit me again! Can I get out of here? Oh, I can. Somehow. Maybe not. Oh, <laughs> get to my bot teammates, I guess, if that's helpful. <laughs> but everywhere I go is just a corner I'm getting stuck in. 
So a little bit extra health here, maybe. I can't really expect him to knife. Oh, I think that's it. Ooh, I don't really know how to handle that. So that was, that was tricky, man. That was a tough situation. Unfortunately, we have failed. I'm going to chalk that up to a variety of factors, but it was fun. Um, I mean, some of the issues like uh, performance obviously sort of takes away from uh, the experience. But again, closed alpha, that's something that we just have to accept and move past. And I guess just figure out what we liked and what we didn't like. So what's the verdict? Well, I just want to get back and play the game, which I think is the sign of having a winning formula on your hands. Now, one thing I do feel the need to mention is that it did not feel like Left 4 Dead. Like, not at all. And I think that it may have been a naive expectation on my part to expect that because Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 came out more than 10 years ago. And any game that comes out in 2020 is going to have to have some of those mechanics that we've grown to know and expect from modern games like ADS. And so if you were to take Left 4 Dead and try and make a sequel to that, you would have to upgrade the graphics, change the movement around a little bit, maybe add ADS, as well as some of those other more advanced mechanics like an economy system and maybe some abilities. And by adding those things in, it kind of becomes less left for dead. So I think they did it right by calling this back for blood. It's clearly the same formula of something for something. And so we know what to expect, but we also need to expect that this is going to be a different direction, sort of a different chapter in the Left 4 Dead style. But all of the elements are still there, which I think is an excellent decision because that formula is a winning formula. And I just wanted more Left 4 Dead. And I think this was maybe the only way or the best way to do it. Either way, it's still in closed alpha. So there's a lot to see Coming up, we've got those four more characters. We've got a ton more campaigns. We've got some kind of versus mode plays, the zombie. Endless possibilities. So Turtle Rock Studios, I think they've got a winner on their hands, and I'm looking forward to seeing more, as well as just getting back into this alpha and playing as much as I can before it ends. So thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you coming by, checking out the video. Please like it if you liked it. That really helps motivate me, as well as comment down below. I love reading all your comments and getting back to you guys and interacting on that personal level. But if you like this content, please consider subscribing to see more. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.